If you've been following us on Instagram or YouTube, you probably know we're not into the bullshit that goes on on a lot of social media sites as far as training. There's no backflips, there's none of that kind of jazz. What's important to us is simple skills that are effective that save people's lives. There's a big difference between shooting on a flat indoor range at a paper target and actually training to gunfight. Carry Trainer prepares its students with actual life-saving skills to deploy a weapon in a grave emergency. Our goal is to empower the students to go back into their life to have confidence in whatever weapons platform they're carrying, be it a concealed carry holder, a law enforcement officer, or a military service member. So what should a good training class do? In our opinion, a student should be able to take back to their home range new ideas, new thoughts, new practices that they can train and ingrain into their everyday carry mode, be it for law enforcement, military, or uh, everyday civilian. Under duress, we perform what we have programmed into our subconscious mind. We want to condense these skills to the shortest possible response time. Carry Trainer, this is what we specialize in, automatic response to fight or flight mechanisms. We want you folks to be able to take these lessons back to your home range and get them to a subconscious level. That's how you win fights. A butcher shop in the town I grew up in had a sign over the counter that said, good meat's not cheap and cheap meat's not good. We feel the same about training. A budget class for something that could save your life probably is not a good idea. Be willing to invest money in this because it could very well save your life. Contact us to set up a training at your local range. This is Mickey with CurryTrainer.com. We hope to see you soon. Train hard, train often, stay safe. Speed him up, push yourself. Brett! once you do that and you break that grip now you've reloaded now to come back on target what you know I've got all kinds of goofiness going on so then I've got to reposition it or let it drop in my hand so that's going to stay pretty firm from the time it's in your holster to out of your holster